Hi, and welcome to the Yarn Habit Geek Podcast. My name is Laura. You can find me on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Ravelry as Yarn Habit Geek. There is also a Ravelry group for the podcast under Yarn Habit Geek Podcast. Welcome to all you viewers, both new and old. Let's just dive right on into this episode because I have a whole bunch of stuff to show for you all. Alright, we're starting off with yarn stash editions this time because there's a, I have something in my finished object from one of the new yarns I just got, which, and uh, first, first edition is um, this finger weight yarns from uh, Sugarbush in their itty bitty, which is their fingering in the color indigo. I don't know. Well, how well this is going to show up, but it's a very nice color, and it's and I will be showing you what I actually used it for in a finished object that I finished in an old day for a little test knit for a bigger version I will be making. And uh, next up in the additions, my or my birthday order from mm, Knit Picks just came in. I got the uh, Knit Pick Stroll Fingering in the color Cork. And here we have uh, the Stroll Glimmer, so sparkly, in the color Runway. And then we got another Stroll Glimmer in Box Glove. And this is actually my very first time ordering from Knit Picks, getting their yarn, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. And here we got Stroll Glimmer in Potion. I got Potion because they no longer had the Dragon Scale. But I needed a nice green, and I love this version of the green they had for the Stroll Glimmer. And the last one from my Knit Picks order is... The Stroll Glimmer in white. It, I just absolutely love the yarn from Knit Picks, this, especially since this is my first order from Knit Picks, and I will be doing a whole bunch more orders There's from Knit Pick. And um, now the next edition is not really yarn; it's for making yarn, and it's my very first drop spindle. I actually uh, picked this up when I was at uh, yarns at the Porch Swing Yarns Omniax here in Toronto, and this is actually, and I'm all, as you can just see, I'm already starting to spin. And this is, I am absolutely loving this spindle. This drop spindle is just amazing. It's an awesomely nice price. And um, that is it for my yarn stash editions, including uh, equipment editions. So let's get on to the next section. And now on to this week's whips of the week. Starting off with the ever long, slowly working Grinch socks for my mom. And I finally made it to the next stripe, which I am so happy. Yeah, I'm hoping to get this. Hopefully, I can get this done before summer. I am currently working on a whole bunch of gifts that unfortunately I won't show on here just in case. These are the people that are, that I'm specifically making these for, actually watch. But uh, at least some of the gifts I can show because either A, they already know about it, or B, they don't know which one is it's going to head towards because some of these are themed for certain cosplayers. That I'm friends with but I'm so happy to finally be 
to have finally gotten to the next stripe on both socks. And the fact that I am knitting these toe up two at a time because it's just easier for me and not having to worry about the second sock syndrome. Next up, I finally got I finally got another score done for the Ron Weasley blanket that I've been commissioned to make. And hopefully by next week's episode, I will have a full row done. And I've also started working on the next square. Yeah, so hopefully by next week's episode, I will be able to show a full row done and have it all attached. Now, uh, this, uh, next whip, let's just say, I'm hopping on board the cozy memory blankets train. Yes, well, basically, I'm starting off using yarns. I've actually socked the uh, fingering sock yarns that I've actually used in previous projects. And um, this yellow square and this blue square that I'm still working on and, uh, were used in the uh, Raven and Claw Pride socks I made for my friend Hannes in exchange for a uh, cosplay of Prank. And, uh, well, if you want to see the picture of my prank cosplay, you would have to go on to Facebook and check out Lady Phoenix, which I will post. I will actually post the link to my uh, cosplay page, which is down in the uh, info section and the Ravelry notes. Looks like we've got a special guest coming. Hey, Jasper. So we got Jasper here. Say hi to them. Say hi to them, please. Say hi to everyone, Jasper. Yeah, this is my rescue baby. Yeah, shut your mama's boy. Hey, Jasper. And, um,. The uh, last thing on in my whips of the week is a gift I'm working on. Hopefully, I will finish it for the 2017 Christmas gifts I'm making. I it's I am basically making a replica of the of Spider-Man's scarf from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. I'm almost at a foot long, so yay! I'm, I have a lot of work to do because it's just alternating each and every garter row between the navy blue and the light gray. So hopefully I will have this done. Now it's up. Uh, let's get on to the next section. So, so now on to finished objects. So, the first one I'm going to show you is from one of the new, from uh, the yarn that I, from when I used this, the yarn that I bought this weekend that I showed in the yarn stash editions, but this is actually a small test knit version of what's going to be a, basically a human sized adult. Of uh, Cloud's vest from slash top from uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Now, excuse you know lack of zipper. Don't exactly have a zipper small enough for this, but I just needed to test knit to see how I was gonna do all the constructions. And the best way for me to test knit is to just doll size version. And weirdly, it does work doing a test size doll version because I did that for um, a few of my costumes and it actually does work out well when you do a smaller version 
for doll. Well, and then you just size it up to yours, to your own measurements. So, yay for that. And, uh, finally, uh, I finally finished my bookish bell mitts. I actually replaced the rose on the, I made a new rose for my left glove. And I added these little neat glass leaf beads I picked up at Beat FX, which is my favorite bead place. And the stitch, and basically the main stitch on here is called, I believe, Rose Stems. But this is just amazing, and I finally got to finish these, which was on my to finish list because I finished, I started this, I forget how many years ago. But I will probably put it in my uh, projects page on my Ravelry account, which I will be updating like crazy this week. And uh, now for some old finished objects, which is going along with the theme of this week's episode. So, this is one of my old finished objects. It's... Uh, the pattern is called the Queen of Hearts Beret. It's a fantastic, it still needs to get blocked, but the pattern on it was just amazing. All the fair owl work, and I love the bands, ribbing is all the different colors. This is like a pretty cool hat to make, especially since all I love. I actually do love working on Fair Isle. And um, next up from old from the old finished objects is, is unfortunately I won't be able to show it all in here, but I will obviously be posting pictures of all the finished objects after the segment. But this is my red riding hood and a cape. Actually, and here got a little button here that keeps it closed. And so is another one of my big projects. But unfortunately, you're not gonna see it all in here, but you will in the uh, picture after this segment. And the uh, last object from my old finished objects, I'm gonna show you. Actually, goes along with the cape. Is Little Red's basket, which is pretty awesome. I do store stuff in here, but I've got it empty. I actually sewed the lining in here and placed the ribbon on it later because I finished, I forget how many years ago, probably a year or two, but it's good. And it, you can probably hear the little click clack of the of the cats in the background but that is it for uh, this segment enjoy the pictures of the finished objects and then we're on to the, the uh, limbo's next And then welcome to this segment of Whip Limbo, in which it goes along with this episode's theme. So the first in my Whip Limbo is a pair of socks I had me I had started making back in an old place I lived in. These are from a pattern called Jack. And the bean socks. I finished the first sock. I, I first I actually finished this first sock last year. I cannot remember the name of the yarn. 
I use, but I will probably look it up. Virtually, it was in a band that uh, didn't have the label of the company or the color, but it looked perfect for this sock. And we got cabling on here. And unfortunately, this is where I ended up. This is where we are in limbo for my Jack and the Bean socks. Finish the toe and then working on the foot. And unfortunately, that's where it ended and ended up in limbo. But I will probably pick it up, hopefully, back up soon because I would love to wear these socks. They are amazing. Alright, so next up in Whip Limbo is something that just I do work on and off when uh, I'm traveling on the transit. And that is um, this really awesome scarf from the pattern Huntsman Scarf and Gloves, which means I am working also going to work on a pair of gloves to go with this but unfortunately my commissions tend to overtake what I work on so unfortunately this ended up in limbo I will eventually get back to this because it is an awesome pattern it's done in linen stitch alternating it just to get this really awesome pattern. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what. <sighs> well, hopefully, I will put this in my traveling bag and, pos and uh, knit it when I do. Lots of back and forth on the transit here in Toronto. And. On to the last one in this week's Whip Limbo section. This is um, the Entwined Forest Throw. Unfortunately, I was miss. I still have one. Unfortunately, I actually had to use a totally different green yarn when I ran out of this one. So I had to use a totally different brand, but I tried to color match as much as possible to get the closest shade. Like these ones were from the Bernat, or was it pronounced Bernet? I don't know. But this one is this green for the border. Is the uh, Karen Simply Soft and I believe Kelly Green? Unfortunately, I still have the other border to make, but as you can tell, the pattern, the pattern for the border is why it gives the name Entwined Forest Throw because it's like I believe the uh, stitch pattern is called Tree of Life. I I'd have to check, but. I was hoping to have this finished by last year, but like I said, it went into limbo as soon as I got a whole ton of commissions to work on, so what I plan to do is at least take out one object from what limbo to finish at my leisure. And so um, that's it for this week's Whip Limbo. I've got just a few more items of Whip Limbo, which I will show one next week because it is really big and with lots of yarn attached to it. So that gets its own special segment. So, time to get on to the uh, final segment I have for this week's episode. Alright, so... This is going to be the final segment for this week's episode. And it's a feature book. And it's themed to uh, this episode's title. And uh, this week's feature book 
is what? Try again. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to the shine off because it's coming from a phone. But this week's book, feature book, is Once Upon a Knit. And all the fairy tale, the finished objects, and um, some of the, okay, pretty much all of what Blimbo you saw in this week's episode. All the patterns were from this book. All the fairy tale patterns from this week's episode were from this book. And uh, actually, the yarn. And from knit picks I got is actually to make these these uh, candy witch fingerless gloves, which I probably will end up starting to work on soon. But um, first, I at least need to finish some whip limbo stuff. Hopefully I can finish some whip limbo, but that's what the uh, my Knit Picks yarn is that I got. It's going to be four those gloves. Now there is, um, and I actually do have, have uh, I did pick up yarn like, um, I think last year to make this. Yeah, so that's gonna be a future project I'll be making. A, a dragon softy. Yeah, so I have made a lot of stuff from this book. I plan to make more. But, um, I do have, I actually did pick up some yarn to uh, knit this mermaid shawl which is absolutely gorgeous so wait it's not mermaid never mind it's not mermaid shawl it's a siren shawl yeah mermaid shawl is actually in a harry potter knit book knitting book i have which i will probably show in a future episode and uh, yeah and i also one day plan at this yellow brick road bag it's, it's just super cute and I absolutely love the Wizard of Oz and um well I just love all the patterns from here so hopefully soon I will have knit knitted everything from here well not soon but in the near future I will hopefully have all the patterns knitted Unfortunately, some of the patterns are for there's at least yeah some of the patterns are for kids, but I actually have some dolls I could just knit for so yay. Unfortunately, not the uh, Monster High Ever After dolls. I actually have a back in the day did a porcelain doll, which I will, which actually still desperately needs clothes made. So, and th that is it. For this week's episode, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next week with more yarny stuff and some TTC knit-along news. So, till then, stay crafty! <laughs>